So what are brainwave states? During the day, most of us are in beta, which says problem solving and engaging. And you'll see this second um, line where the waves are very crunched together, um, so very active. When we um, kind of uh, tune out or um, watch TV or do, you know, right when we wake up and right when we fall asleep, uh, we are in alpha, which is relaxing and recharging. Um, dreaming and sleeping is in delta. Um, so it's much flatter and then like a big um, peak uh, that's fairly um, soft and fluid. Theta is um, described here as dreaming, autopilot states, and learning. Um, I think of it as actually like deep meditation. So let's look at a second image here. Beta is 14 to 30 hertz. It's when we're awake, normal, alert, and consciousness. Um, and again, so see how it's very active, very tight together. Up and down, up and down. Alpha um, becomes a little bit more wave-like, a little bit of space between it, and is lower hertz. So now we're talking 8 or 9 to 13. Physically and mentally relaxed, awake but drowsy. When we fall asleep, we're in delta, which is anything um, all the way down below 4 hertz. Um, the deep, dreamless sleep loss of bodily awareness. Okay, so they're saying that we don't dream in um, delta. <clears throat> Between alpha and delta, actually, in terms of hertz levels, is theta, 4 to 8 hertz, uh, reduced consciousness, deep meditation, dreams, light sleep, and REM sleep. Gamma, which isn't often even mentioned, is anything above 30, so above beta when we have heightened perception.